It's a simple question, really. You find a present hidden in the closet. Are you the type who peeks? I don't know, Doctor. I, mean, I go back and forth. Yeah, I, I like surprises, but I'm painting this weekend. You know, pink or blue? <laughs> well, you waited this long. That's another two weeks. Too long? Okay, I want a peek. Pink. It's a girl? I'm having a little girl? Baby girl. Growth is consistent with size. She's right at about six pounds. Here you go. Thanks, I'll do it. Any dizziness, headaches, nausea? Yeah, all the above. Why? Your blood pressure's high. 140 over 90. Work's still hectic. Crazy's more like it trying to cross all the T's and dot all the I's before I go on maternity leave. Does this hurt? <sighs> yeah, a little. Should I be concerned? Well, with high blood pressure, there's always a risk of toxemia. It's something I like to keep my eye on. When do you go on leave? Uh, at uh, the end of the week. Well, I would like to monitor you closely until the birth. Can you come in tomorrow? No, no, Friday's impossible. I have a major client presentation this afternoon, and if we get the account, then I'll be up to my ears in legal tomorrow. Okay, well, here's the web address for the prenatal outreach program the hospital runs. You can apply online. Maybe they'll be able to send you a nurse over this weekend. If not, I want to see you first thing Monday morning. It's doctor's orders. Yes, sir. Thank you. The act of creation can be a richly rewarding experience, but it's not without its share of difficulties. In order for your company to become a major player in the international carrier business, we'll be taking on the heavy hitters. FedEx, DHL, UPS. Doesn't get any hotter than that. <laughs> as long as they're taking the heat. <laughs> and when we've got them backed up against the ropes. <laughs> well, we've committed to a long-term aggressive campaign. Tell me, Don. You think we can take him to the canvas with this? We're old fight fans. Royce, that's old school. Well, I prefer the finesse. The strategy. Myself, I'm partial to heavyweights. I like punchers. Guys that go for the knockout. You quite sure about that? Because the larger canvas doesn't favor the puncher. My father was a sports writer. I grew up practically worshipping Ali. I'm listening. You're number one on the East Coast. But we're talking about the global arena. You should consider sticking and jabbing to work your way into a winning position. Are you saying I'm out of my weight class? No, no, not at all. I am simply saying you have to be willing to go the distance to spend the kind of serious money it takes to create a market leader. Bearing in mind that Royce Clayton is a close personal friend of mine, do you really believe he has a shot going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys? Yes, I do. Why, Jenna? Because those other companies are vulnerable. Because statistics show that the market can bear it. Because it's good for his business. Because if we fail, a 30-year-old company will be destroyed, 2,000 people will be out of work, and I'll lose an old friend. We got the account. As of right now, Clayton Shipping is represented by Klein Walters Advertising. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or more specifically, by the new senior VP, Jenna Davis. Oh, yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Jenna, I know how hard you've worked on this account, coming in six, seven days a week. Not complaining. As senior VP, you do understand the hours are only going to get worse. I'm here for you night and day. What I'm alluding to in a less than subtle fashion is... Are you sure you're up to it? Mr. Walters. Uh, Don. Okay, Don. I know that when you hired me, you weren't expecting that I... Well, that I would be expecting. Believe me, I was just as surprised. My point is... I won't let you down. Okay, then.
What's her problem? Roz? Uh -huh. She thinks you stole her promotion. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, by the way, on landing the account. Thanks. Now the real work begins. Any chance I can interest you in some pizza and paste up this evening? I can't. Kelly's dance recital, remember? Oh, gosh, yes. I have it in my calendar. I don't know where my mind is at. You okay? Everything go right at the doctor's? Yeah, it's fine. I just have so much to do before. My whole life I wanted a job like this. You know what they say. Be, Be careful, careful what you wish for, I know. I just don't know how I am going to raise a child and run this department. Guess I didn't think it all the way through, huh, honey? You'll find a way. You'll manage. Mothers do. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Oh, the conference call's been pulled up, but I still have a little time. I'm going to run out for about an hour and get some baby things. Don't forget the contracts are legal. I need them for the call. Thank you so much for calling. Dr. Morris recommended it. Please, tell me you make house calls. That's what the outreach program is all about. We provide a range of in-home services. Why did your doctor ask you to enroll? My blood pressure's elevated. Oh, we can help with that. I'll also be able to advise you on diet and nutrition. What's your schedule like? Um, I'm painting Saturday. Is there any way you can come Sunday? Sunday's good for me. How about noon? Oh, great, thanks. Bye. Oh, is this about time? No, just... Let me get rid of the other line. Look, I have to call you back. Yeah. How are you? The usual. Busy, stressed. Uh, new job's got you running ragged, huh? <laughs> Actually, I love it. I just got promoted to senior VP. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. How's the city? Yeah, what I've seen of it. I've been practically living at the office. Oh, that can't be good. All work and no play. You're probably sitting around in your underwear right now, prepping a layout for the paper. Guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I've been thinking about things. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of things? Well, you know, us things. Really? Oh, you sound surprised. Oh, uh, Tom, hang on a sec. My, my cell's ringing. Uh, do you have to take that? Yeah, I'm sorry. I will call you back, though. Sure. Take care of yourself. And, uh, congrats. You know, on everything. Thanks. Bye.
Hi, Madeline. It's me, your mommy. Well, it's almost time for you to come out into the world, so I thought I would give you a guided tour of your new home. This is your room, right next to mine. Okay, it's a work in progress. Shoot. I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Uniform's a dead giveaway, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Can I get you something? Coffee or anything? Oh, Lord, no. One more cup, I'll be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> have you had a non-stress test before? Oh, just once in 18 weeks. Oh, okay. And I'll have to take some blood as well. Oh, it's no problem. Great. Shouldn't take more than 20 minutes. Oh, good. So, where are you from? Columbus, you? <laughs> you name it. Army brat. How long have you been a nurse? 18 years, but who's counting? How about you? I'm um, creative director and senior VP for an advertising agency. Holy moly, that even sounds busy. <laughs> oh, handsome fella. He the father? Um, actually... Oh, there I go, sticking my nose where it don't belong. Forgive me. No, 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 it's okay. It's actually nice to talk to someone besides a co-worker. Mm. Tell you the truth, I think you're the first company I've had since I moved here eight months ago. On your own, are you? Yeah, the job was too good to pass up. Of course, if I had a reason to stay. Well, you will have company soon enough. Okay, let's take a look. Baby's heart rate looks good. 148 perfect. No preterm contractions. Great. We're done. I just need your insurance card so I can bill you. Oh, sure. Let me get my purse. Okay. There we go. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Oh. Got a lovely house. Very warm and inviting. Got good, uh, what do they call that? Fung. Fung something? <laughs> Feng shui. <laughs> Sorry. My fault. My ex always used to complain that I was sneaking up on him. <laughs> Great color scheme. It's beautiful. It will be when it's finished. Here. Great. Oh, and I almost forgot. I've got some new prenatal vitamins for you. Um, they have higher doses of vitamin C and E, which might help with your condition. You should take two now. Dizzy's all. Oh, you look exhausted. Oh, it's not the half of it. Well, why don't you lie down and have a nap? I can let myself out. You sure? Positive. You let yourself rest. There you go. That'll be great. Thanks. There you go. All right, just relax. Oh, and here's your card. Thanks. So if you need anything, and I mean anything, you just call me, okay? Thank you. Bye.
I'm very sorry. These are to stop the milk coming in. The hospital will give you enough to take with you on here at least. There is a grief counselor on the staff. I can arrange for you to see him. Can you tell me what happened? When did you start going into labor? Remember anything before that? Lynn came back somehow, I guess. Lynn? Yeah, uh, Mallory, the prenatal nurse. Oh, so you did use the hospital services. When did she see you? Um, noon, yesterday, Sunday. <sighs> it's Tuesday, Jenna. We gave you a sedative. You've been asleep since we brought you in. This nurse, Lynn Mallory, you say? I'll see what I can find out. Maybe. Jenna, it's important that you rest right now. I know it's difficult, but try not to dwell on what's happened. When I've gotten in touch with this nurse, I'll, I'll let you know. Doctor. We don't know yet. Because you delivered at home, we may never know for certain. Most likely it's cord related. The umbilical cord could have gotten tangled and deprived the baby of oxygen. Okay, okay. But even an autopsy might prove inconclusive. I want to have a service, okay? I'll tell the hospital. Dale Pendergast, the hospital administrator. I wouldn't bother you under normal circumstances, but I'm afraid we have a problem. The nurse who came to see you, you said her name was Lynn Mallory. And she told you she was affiliated with this hospital? Yes. Well, no, not specifically. But I, I applied and she called right away, so... We have no Lynn Mallory on our staff. 
But I filled out the forms that asked Dr. Morris. Uh, yes, yes, uh, he did confirm that, but he hasn't seen you since last week. No, because I saw the nurse. She came to my house. I'm sure there's an explanation. Look, I didn't imagine all this. She came to my house. She was wearing a uniform. I I she had a fetal monitor. She gave me vitamins. She, she took my blood. It's possible she works for another hospital in the area. I'll make some calls, see if I can locate her, all right? And I should tell you, the coroner's office has requested an autopsy, and the police will want to question you. It's just common procedure in a case like this. I'm sorry. It's okay. okay. Could be all right. Unfortunately, the sandwiches in the cafeteria are not much better than what they're serving up here, so coffee and donuts. Jenna Davis? No. Detective Dana Hawk, robbery homicide. Homicide? Oh, I'm sorry, you are? Tom Robbins. Tom's a friend. You flew in to help. Well, right now, I need to speak to Miss Davis alone, if you don't mind. Oh, I think I'd like to stay. I have an interest in what happened here as well. How's that? Tom's... The father. You were there? No, I am. Um, I live out of town. We're not together. I see. Then, as I said, I need to speak to Miss Davis alone right now. It's okay, Tom. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Let me settle in a hotel. I will be right back. We have the hospital administrator's report. Um, you say a nurse came to your home claiming to work for the hospital. Yeah, only it turns out she didn't. No one's ever heard of her. And you think this person had something to do with the death of your baby? Yes. Why? Well, I'm not exactly sure that she was the last person I saw, and now she's vanished. Was she involved with the delivery? I vaguely remember her being there, but I was in and out of consciousness, so. When they found you, the umbilical cord was cut. Can you tell me about that? No, I don't remember any of it. Did you give her any money? No, she said she'd bill me. Hit my phone. I phoned her number. It, it should be in, in the phone's memory from my caller ID. I'll trace the number, see what I can find out. Meanwhile, I'd like to bring in a sketch artist, if that's all right with you. Might give us something to work with. Yeah. No, she's not familiar. Look, I've checked with my entire staff. There are five nurses who are part of our outreach program. Two of them are on duty, two were at home with their families, and one was out of state. And none of them had any contact with Jenna Davis. Do you mind if I show this around? No, no, not at all. Um, there is something else I should tell you. Her blood work on the day she was brought in. Traces of tranquilizers, short-acting barbiturates, were found in her system. I checked with her obstetrician. He never prescribed anything. I'd like to talk to him. Dr. Morris, I'll give you that number. What about the baby? Any abnormalities? There's an autopsy scheduled for later today. I'll let you know if something turns up. I appreciate your time. Detective? Giving birth while unconscious is extremely rare. I know of cases where the mother has been put under general anesthetic, but even then, only after having had a number of prior children. And this business of the nurse, I have checked with every hospital in a 50-mile radius, and there's no record of a Lynn Mallory. Thank you. Tom, thanks for your help. Do you want me to come in? I can, I can make you something to no, eat. No, 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 you, I'm actually pretty exhausted. I think I'm just gonna lie down for a while, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, 
And if you like, I could stick around for a couple days. Check in on you. I would like that. Promise me you'll take it easy. You know how you are. I promise. Okay. Okay. went off in the nursery so I went in there and I found the video camera I left it on the day the nurse was here and so I checked it because I thought there was something on it but there's not and so then I went to the bathroom and I checked the medicine cabinet and the bottle of prenatal vitamins she gave me they're, they're gone I mean it, it's like she never even existed like I imagined all this in my head and it just doesn't it's okay look this is all still fresh if you just take some time no 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 that's just it it's the other things the things that are leading up to it that are, that are just confusing me I mean god I've gone over all this in my head and it just doesn't make any sense what did she have to gain by lying to me maybe the cop can find something <laughs> You're right she thinks I'm crazy too look under the circumstances Thanks. all I'm saying is with what you've been through who wouldn't be a little bit crazy you need to stop worrying about this woman and let the cops do their job give yourself a chance to grieve no I can't do that right now You need to realize that something happened that is out of your control. Cut yourself some slack. You know, you're not alone here. Really? Will you help me find this woman? I'll stay as long as you need me. Are you sure? I mean... Oh, God. I hate when you do that. You're right. Thank you. The office. I've been dodging them. I need to take this. Yeah. Jenna Davis. Jenna, you didn't need to come down. You should be at home resting. <sighs> sure, and lose my job too. Could they be at home? I never took the notes home, Debbie. But look at this mess. We even needed the correct copy, so I started looking. I left them right here on my desk. Except with everything that you've been through. Damn it, why is this happening right now? But have you asked Roz? Could she have come in my office? I wouldn't put it past her to do something like this. Would you? She had... Jenna. Well, I didn't expect to see you here. No. 
I didn't expect someone to sabotage my hard work. Sabotage? Jenna's notes on the contract are missing. They need to be the clients by close of business. I have them. You? They were out on your desk. I wanted to look them over before sending them on. Oh. Debbie, would you excuse us for a moment, please? off the account. Well, it's a temporary leave of absence, but yeah. Oh, there was a mix up with some paperwork and I guess it kind of flew off the handle. Mm -hmm. Um, Tom, can it wait until tomorrow? Yeah. Well, someone's at my door. Uh -huh. Okay, bye. Detective. Mind if I come in? No, no, come in, please. So, I'm hoping this means you have some good news for me? I wish I did. I can't find anyone resembling the nurse you claim you met with. Well, what about the phone number I gave you? Dead end. One of those pay-as-you-go <sighs> mobile phones bought over the counter. No ID required. Then why are you here? Miss Davis, the hospital found evidence of tranquilizers in your blood. Tranquilizers? That's not possible. Were you taking any medication at the time? No, just the prenatal vitamins that Lynn gave me. I bet they were tranquilizers. Could I see them? They've gone missing. Look, obviously she drugged me. She gave me something to knock me out. I, I wasn't even due for two more weeks, but I went into labor? What if she gave me Pitocin to jumpstart my delivery? You know about Pitocin? Yeah, I read about it on the internet when I was first pregnant. I see. I checked with the lab. Unfortunately, Pitocin is a substance the body already processes. It metabolizes quickly, wouldn't show on a tox screening. But don't you see, if she was a nurse, then she would know that. Or she could have had access to the internet. Miss Davis, did you make a comment to your secretary? How am I going to run this department and raise a child? But you... You went to my work? I, I, don't, I don't have to defend that remark. You are also recently promoted, correct? Yeah. It takes a lot of work to earn VP stripes. Even more to hold on to them. What are you implying? Speculating, Miss Davis. I'm only speculating. Based on what I'm being told by doctors, hospital staff, the people you work with, You think I killed my baby? Abby, how are you coming along with the intern evaluations? Is she in? I want to see her right now. You told the cop I was on drugs. <sighs> it's okay, Abby. I want to see the blood work for my baby's autopsy. Miss Davis, please. Do you have the results of the autopsy? Says the autopsy was never performed. I... Your child's remains were cremated. What? I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I, I, I can only go by what the record shows, and I mean it might be a clerical error. <laughs> so you're you're saying um, you're saying this is a mistake? I don't buy it. I promise. I will personally look into this. Someone's tampering with your records and that's all you have to say? You'll look into it? I know. I am terribly sorry. No, I don't want your apologies. I want to know who's responsible. Why didn't you call her? Huh? You were quick enough to call her about me. Tell her to investigate. Miss Davis, if you'll just let Tom, me... thank God. This is turning into a nightmare. Jenna, listen. I may have found something. So I took a look at the footage from the video. No. The camera shuts off soon after you put it down, so there's no visual of the woman. Well, I already told you she's not on the video. Yeah, I know, but I did find something, so I downloaded it to my laptop so we could blow it up. Okay. Okay. All right. You see at the point where you put it down? It's framing the window? Mm-hmm. What do you see right there? A 
car? Yeah, 2004 Taurus. Look at this. A partial plate number. Now, I contacted a friend of mine back home that works at the paper. Gave him his license plate. This guy is dialed into all sorts of agencies. He's going to track this down for us. Tom, um... That cop I spoke to... She thinks I may have had something to do with the baby's death. She can't be serious. I, they found drugs in my system. And it gets worse. The baby's remains were cremated. I, I, I have run through this over and, 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 and over again. And the only thing that makes sense is that the nurse who treated me was after my baby. What? Yeah, I, I know, but look, there's a pattern, okay? She she poses as a nurse, and she comes to my home, and she gives me tranquilizers, and then she forces the birth. Yeah, but why? I, I don't know, maybe to kidnap her, but, but okay, something went wrong, and and the baby died, and, and, and she panicked, and she took off. But don't you see? I need to find this woman, and, and I don't know how. Okay, just slow down. Slow down. Let's just focus on what we have, and we'll go from there, okay? We'll find her. And we'll figure all of this out, I promise. Hello? It's the hospital. When? I can't be positive this is her, you understand. But you saw her. I just started my shift, and I saw a woman I didn't recognize walking away from my station. And she wasn't one of the regular nurses? No. About as tall as you, long blonde hair, glasses. Why didn't you report her? Well, she could have been a new hire or just came off the night shift. I don't know. Do you still think that cremation order was a clerical error? I'll go call Detective Hawk. You, you have no idea what I've been through. No, we've heard. Hey. We've heard it's all over the hospital. You find anything? I mean, stillbirths are rare enough these days, but two in the same week? Excuse me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Just a few days before yours. Yeah, right. Another woman's baby was stillborn. Uh, you don't happen to know how I could get in touch with her, do you? Uh, I'm not permitted to give out patients information. Would you uh, excuse me for a minute? Can you give me that again? Okay, great. Thanks. Yeah. My friend tracked down the plate number. It was a rental. The day before you went to labor, a woman named Nicole Parker picked it up. I had an address. Come on, it's a three-hour drive. Okay. There's something I need to check out first, all right? Are you sure this is the place? It's the address in the file. Hell of a dump. That is a nice truck, though. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. You wait here. Two of us might seem like we're pressuring her. Aren't we? I don't want it to seem like that. And it'll need a woman's touch. Oh. So you wait. Jenna Davis. I'm sorry, I tried to call you, but your phone's out of order, so. Yeah, I already told the damn phone company that the check's in the mail. Look, if you're selling something, I'm Oh, well, that's to... not it. I'd like to talk to you about your baby. I understand she was stillborn. Your car? No. Look, the same thing happened to my baby just a few days ago. What's it to me? I want to know what happened to you and your baby. <clears throat> There's nothing to tell. She died when I gave birth. Doctors said I had toxemia. By any chance, were you treated at home by a nurse? 
Have you ever heard the name Lynn Mallory? No. She told me she was a nurse, only it turns out she wasn't, and now my baby's dead. So? Why are you telling me? The police don't believe me. So I thought... What? Thought that maybe we could help each other? Well, we can't. Okay, sorry about your baby, but I can't help you. Wait, wait, just... Did you recognize this woman? No. But you didn't even look! Anything? You said you have an address for this Nicole Parker? Mm -hmm. Let's try that. See if anybody shows up or comes out. Yep. SUV. Um, different priorities, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Something just didn't seem right there. Be right back. You can't just take someone's mail. I'm just looking. If there's nothing suspicious, then we'll put it back. Come get down. That's her. That's Lynn Mallory. Are you sure? It looks nothing like that. Yeah, I'm sure. Her hair color's different, and, and she changed the way she looks, but... Tom, I am positive. That's her. Oh, for our sakes, it better be. She's leaving. Ben, what are you doing? I want to get a closer look at the house. Jenna. Follow her, okay? It's like I told the administrator. Okay, a disposal request comes in. I match the number on the form with the item in storage, and I dispose of it. And you have no idea of the contents, Mr. Bendix? Would you want to know? Are we done here? 
I'd like to finish my lunch. Yeah, we're done. Davis. I'm Detective Reese, robbery homicide. Can I get you a cup of coffee? It's <sighs> quite the story you told the arresting officer. You want to tell me why you're on the property? I needed to talk to the woman who lived there. I was waiting for her to show up. The woman in your report? Yes. Nicole Parker. You just thought she might show? Yes. Mind me asking how you trace this woman here? I was making a video for my baby, and there was a shot of a car in my driveway. I traced the license plate through the car rental agency to her home. This trace, you did this all on your own? Must have some connections. Want to tell me about it? Okay. I see this tape. I left it back at my house. Hi, I'm Nicole Parker here to see Detective Reese. Yes, sir. Am I allowed a phone call or? Thank you. Excuse me. Miss Parker. Thanks for coming down. Oh, my pleasure. Detective Reese. Tom, I'm in jail. Doctor! What would you do to my baby? Huh? Back in the room. What'd you do? Did you give me drugs? Did you give me Pitocin? Huh? Is it the vitamins? I have no idea what you're saying. Take her in your office and keep her there. What about the baby bottle I saw at your house? Baby bottle? I, I, I don't have any children. You lied! Detective, what is this about? Is that the woman you found at my house? Yes. Miss Davis thinks she's responsible for the death of her child. She claims a woman passed herself off as a nurse, delivered the child, then took off, and the child was stillborn. Oh. Well, obviously, she's mistaken me for someone else, but, well, the poor woman, what she's been through, losing a child like that. Ooh, you're not going to arrest her, are you? Well, I appreciate your sensibilities, Miss Parker, but she was breaking an entrance. Oh, I, I don't think a night in jail is good for her, do you? Well, it could have been home at the time. I mean, you saw how violent she could be. She came out of there pretty. Still, oh. pressing charges? I, I don't know. I... At least file a restraining order. All right, OK. I'm just leaving the police station. We have to meet. Okay. Jenny. Free to go, Miss Davis. You're lucky Miss Parker's not pressing charges. This time. Who are you? Tom Robbins. You have something to do with this? No, he's, he's I'm just, just a friend. Well, you're gonna need more than friends if I catch you near your house again. Understand? I don't know how she found me. The point is, I'm exposed. I thought you were careful. I was careful. There were no prints to identify. The calls were untraceable. Even the fetus was disposed of. All right, stop. The less I know, the better. Why the hell did I let you talk me into this? Well, maybe if you'd managed your books better, you'd have other options. 
What's done is done. As long as we don't panic, everything will be fine. You could leave town for a while. No, no, that would raise a red flag. Besides, I'm not going anywhere without my share of the money. What is keeping them? They're flying in tomorrow. The paperwork is almost finished. If you'd had her locked up, we'd all be in the clear. No, it was the smart play. Now she looks suspicious. And what if she comes back? She went in the building, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Her phone bill. Maybe there's something in there. You can't open her mail. That's a federal offense. I saw a baby bottle on the table in her house. So what does that prove? In the police station. She said that she didn't know what I was talking about, that she didn't have any children. Well, maybe... That's why she posed as a nurse. She wanted a baby, our baby. Okay, maybe she can't have any children of her own. So she came up with this whole crazy plan to steal one. And something went wrong, and our baby died. Listen to me, you're taking it too far. Just call Hawk, tell her we found Nicole Parker, and let the police investigate. Hawk isn't listening. She suspects me. She doesn't want to see how this all goes together. Bandit here. Oh, sorry, wrong number. Do you even hear me? What? We just stop for a minute. She lied to me. She set me up for something. You're obsessed with this. My baby died. She was my baby, too. Look, what happened was terrible. And I'm here for you. I am. But I am not going to sit back and watch you do this to yourself. Fine. Leave, then. Me leave? Well, that'd be a switch, wouldn't it? Here we go. Back to the past again. You're the one that left for the better deal. You could ask me to stay. You know I wasn't going to stand in your way. Maybe I wanted you to. Well, then you should have said something. I can't read minds. See, that's exactly the problem. We were together two years. You should have known me better than that. You could have told me you were pregnant. I didn't know. It was a surprise to me. Okay, I didn't know until I was on the job and I was ready six weeks and I, I didn't know what to do. You think, and you think I wouldn't care for my own child? I, I didn't, I, I, I didn't want to burden you, okay? I, I didn't want to be one of those women who would try to uh, trap you or guilt you. Or... Talk about not knowing someone. I would never have thought that. Thank you for calling Seaver's Adoption Agency. Our office is now closed. Please call back during regular business hours. An adoption agency? You don't think that's suspicious? Yeah, okay, it's weird. We can't just jump to conclusions. Maybe she can't have children, or maybe she's looking to adopt. And you're not jumping to conclusions? Hello? You'll never guess what I'm looking at. A transcript from a Detective Reese. He thought I might be interested. I can explain that. Save it. Look, Detective, I found her. You have to trust me on this. We don't have that kind of relationship, Miss Davis. Where are you? I advise you to return home immediately and seek legal counsel. On what grounds? Negligent homicide, for starters. What? See if this fits. A young single woman accepts a hot job offer only to learn she's pregnant. Then she gets a big promotion, deciding it's going to be tougher than she thought. She researches the internet, finds a way, and self-terminates the pregnancy. To cover her tracks, she manufactures a mysterious nurse. It, it, if I didn't want to have this baby, then why would I have waited till she was due? I mean, put together a whole nursery? I made a video? I, mean, I, I can't believe that you would think I would do this. I don't know what to think, Miss Davis, but as I said... I advise you to return home immediately, or I'll come and get you myself. Jenna, what? Hawk wants to charge me with negligent homicide. That's ridiculous. Tom, you 
mom, do you think I'm crazy? No. No. I can't go to the police. If they charge me, by the time this goes to trial, that woman will be long gone. I can't go back to live answers. I want to go to that adoption agency. It's my only lead. Okay, say so you're right. If you go back there, you're going to tip them off. They probably know who you are. They might recognize a single woman, Jenna Davis. But they won't suspect Mr. and Mrs. Tom Robbins. Oh. This is the place Nicole Parker went in. Robbins for Mr. Seavers? Oh. Honey, relax. Can't help it, I'm nervous. <laughs> Please, come in. Seavers Adoption Agency. Have a seat. I'm Dolan Seavers. What can I do for you today? Well, we're interested in adopting. We thought we'd start here since we've heard so many good things about your agency. Oh, really? From where? Well, you don't make the cover of a major magazine unless you're doing something right. Well, we do what we can. We are a client-centered agency, and our goal is to help you make the right decision in regards to planning your family. Each year, we place approximately 120 children from all across the United States and from other countries as well. Well, now you know something about us. Tell me about yourselves. How long have you two been married? Happily married. Three years. Well, adoption is a very important decision. Have you thought the matter through entirely? We want to make sure that it's the correct choice for you. We planned on getting pregnant on our honeymoon, but it turns out I can't have children. We tried fertility drugs in vitro. We just want a baby. I understand. Do you have sex in mind? Girl. I'm sorry, girl. Madeline, right? You remember him? Yeah, based on the children's story. He told me after our third date. My gosh, that's right. After we got back from dinner. Uh, currently, we have uh, three children you might want to consider. Now, if you're interested in an international adoption, there is a very lovely six-month-old Korean girl. You would be required to travel to meet her there, though. And I have uh, two beautiful children of special needs. So long as she's healthy. And white. Caucasian, honey. Oh. Oh, oh, we're not prejudiced at all. We just want a child that won't be obviously perceived as adopted. Excuse me. They're here already. I'm going to need a couple more minutes. Um, we'll let them see the child and tell them I'm with other clients. Mr. Miss Robbins, I'm going to be honest with you. Demand for a healthy white baby boy or girl is great. Though I did recently place a child which fits that description, that couple had been waiting for almost a year. Another year? Honey, I, I can't wait that long. Mr. Sears, if this is about money, it's not about money, Mr. Robbins. It's about what's best for the child. I tell you what. My secretary has some forms you can fill out. Once I have all your information, then I can get a better feel for your needs. Thank you. Ellen, could I have an application for these nice folks? She's so lovely. Ah, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Bennings. I'll be right with you. I'll take your time. Well, 
Thank you both for coming in. Now, if you can mail us the application once you fill it out. That's great. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Mr. Seavers, my wife was wondering if we might be able to take her home with us tonight, to the hotel. So we can begin to bond with the child before we get on the plane tomorrow. I'm sorry. No, I didn't mind arranging this additional visit. By law, we can't release your baby until the paperwork's in order. But that will all be finalized in the morning. Just one more day. She'll be yours. So what do you think? I mean, the place seems legit. Seavers didn't even flinch when I talked about money. Tom, back there when we saw that baby. Yeah, look, I know it's hard. No, no, it's not just that. I mean, I know it sounds crazy. Call it woman's intuition, maternal instinct. I don't know, but something's not right about this place. I can feel it. Well, we know Nicole Parker's doctor, but we don't know why. It's not nearly enough to start making wild accusations. Unless we had some proof. Man, this guy is really burning the midnight oil. Mm. Two stakeouts. Got some donuts or something. Um, do you think I'd make a good mother? What? Well, of course you'd be good. No, I, I, I mean it. What if I was so caught up in my career that I took my child for granted? Like your mom? Yeah, what if I turned out just like her? We don't have to go down that path. It needs to be different if you had some support. After you left, I thought, you know, did I blow it? Did I settle for a lesser me by letting you go? Do you really... Do you really think it could be different? I don't know. And we both love our career so much. And what do we have two nights a week? Ooh, we're lucky. Should yeah. cram a... Weeks worth of things in those two nights, though. Shut up. <laughs> this is different. You can't raise a child two nights a week. Late nights at the office and dinners downtown won't cut it. So we stay home, we order in. I could Szechuan places near that. Is that what you want? To try again? Oh, there he is. He's gonna see us.
Parker at 6 a.m. on the 17th of the month. Baby delivered. Switch successful. 17th is the morning I gave birth. baby and replaced her with Maggie Carter stillborn. Yeah, but how would they... Oh, the morgue. That's why there's no birth certificate. At least, not a real one. If we could find it, we could take it to the police and they could verify it. Tom? That little girl the Bennings were taking... It's Madeline. Jenna, don't. Tom, I know it's Madeline. It's our little girl. We can't know that for sure. Those, fi those files aren't concrete enough. Concrete enough to be possible. Look, we need to see Seavers again. Flush him out. Find out where they're taking the baby and be there to get her back. We don't even know if he's a part of this. Maybe, maybe he doesn't know that she was obtained illegal. Oh, do you really think that? No. Okay. If we can verify it, then the police will have to investigate. Would you see that these files are sent over to child services? Mr. Seavers. Oh, Mr. and Mr. Robbins, back so soon? Yes, I know you weren't expecting us, but um, do you have a moment? Please. Now, uh, did you have a change of heart about one of the children I mentioned? Actually. We'd like to talk to you about the baby we saw yesterday, the little girl. Well, I'm sorry, but she's already been adopted. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? What I mean is, how do you know it's if they're okay. doing the right thing? Mr. Robbins, we screen all our applicants very carefully. Well, what about the birth mother? Doesn't she have any say in this? Maybe we can meet with her. I'm sorry, but that's not possible. Now, you're really going to have to schedule a formal appointment. Have the Bennings met her? Have you met her, the birth mother? What are you getting at? Look, Mr. Seavers, we have reason to believe that that baby's been stolen. That's Jenna Davis you're talking to. I'd watch what I said if I were you. Thank you. Is the birth mother's name Jenna Davis? I have no idea what you're talking about, and I would like the both of you to leave. I think you know exactly what we're talking about, you son of a bitch. Call for security. I want the two of you out of my office right now. And I want my baby. All right, here we go. We're gonna have to. 
keep an eye on this place. They're definitely gonna move the baby now. Detective Hawk, please. Robbery homicide. It's Jen and Davis. You have to listen to me. Are you back in town? I figured out how they did it. The Seavers Adoption Agency is behind it. Dolan Seavers hired a woman named Nicole Parker to pose as a nurse. And claiming she was Lynn Mallory, she switched my baby with a stillborn so they could sell her. And it's happening today. We don't have much time. Miss Davis. I can prove it. Please, detective, if she was your baby, what would you do? You have evidence? A paper trail? Yes. They use Maggie Carter's stillborn. Uh, Nicole Parker paid off some technician at the morgue named Bendix to make the cremation look like an accident. Their names are in a file at the adoption agency. Detective, a simple blood test will prove this is my baby. Look, I can't promise anything, but come back in and I'll see what I can do. I can't. Not without my baby. What'd she say? We're on our own. Tom, if we can get the baby, they can run a DNA test. It's our only chance. We don't even know where they're keeping her. Seavers will want to be at the exchange. He wants his money. That's what he's in it for. So, it's his move then. Hard as it is, we wait and we follow him. Uh, Dolan Seavers. Uh, well, good news, your final paperwork just came in. Listen, I uh, know you folks are in a hurry to fly back home, so what if I bring your baby with me to your hotel and, and you continue there? Oh, the shredding's done. It's all going to hell. I can feel it. Maybe we, we, we should just make a run for it. We're not going anywhere until we get that money. Now get a hold of yourself. You finish the paperwork, and I'll call you when I'm leaving with the baby. What should we do? Should we follow? No, 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 no. We wait for Seavers. Jenna Davis, you better come arrest me. I'm at the Proclamation Hotel. 
Because I'm not gonna let that Nicole Parker bitch take my baby. Don't turn around or I'll make a scene. Surprised? What made you decide to steal my baby? You've got nothing on me. I'll save it for the police. I know all about your connection at the morgue and the other baby. Go on, get out of here. You can walk for all I care. I just want my baby. And you'll just keep quiet? Yeah. It's more of a chance than you gave me. Mr. Severs, where's our baby? That's our baby! Miss Davis! Miss Davis, put the child down. It's my baby. Put the child down now. They stole her, and they were going to sell her. I am not letting her go. Stop her! Go get her! Detective Reese? I'm Reese. What's going on? Detective Hawk, your office told me where to find you. I'm not here to step on your toes. I might want to take a look at this. It's an outstanding warrant for Nicole Parker, a.k.a. Lynn Mallory, amongst others. Detective, we have a flight to catch. Do we have our child now? I'm afraid it's not that simple. Take good care of her. Yeah, it's okay. Not gonna hurt her. It's like you said, a simple DNA test and this will all be cleared up. I'll have her back soon. It's okay. We want these tests done as soon as possible. I'm sure you understand. Of course. After I got off the phone with you, I ran a background check on this Nicole Parker. She's a former obstetrics nurse who did time for dealing drugs out of the hospital. Somehow, she hooked up with Seavers, who ran a mostly legitimate business. But whenever the money was right, he'd get Nicole to find some woman down on her luck, like Maggie Carter, to get pregnant and sell them the baby. Seavers would doctor the records to make the parents look like they were educated from good stock. But then Maggie Carter's baby was still born, so... Yes. So Nicole came up with a plan. Keep the baby on ice with Bendix and the morgue, find a replacement, make a swap, and dispose of the remains. It's illegal to accept money solely in exchange for a baby, but it's difficult to prove. Still, the feds have shut down the adoption agency. They're preparing a laundry list of charges against Nicole and Sievers, among them felony kidnapping. As for the other babies they've already sold, we'll likely never know. You are lucky. Jenna. This is not exactly how I imagined the delivery, but congratulations. You have a baby go.
too. Hi. Where are all your things? Oh, don't tell me you've checked them all already. Oh, that's it. Just your camera. You're not going. Look, I know we talked about me going back and forth, but then I realized everything I need is right here. Tom, tell me you didn't just quit your job. It's okay. I talked to a guy at the local paper, and he said there might be an opening next month. That's what you want? Low pressure, steady paycheck. What's wrong? Where well, you want me to go? Oh, no, honey, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's just, I gave notice two hours ago. What? <laughs> With everything we've been through, a six-week leave of absence just didn't seem like nearly enough time, so... <laughs> What are we gonna do about money in the meantime? We'll figure it out. <laughs> you know, at least we finally have our priorities straight. That's true. Anyway, I got an angle on a new freelance story. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I'm calling it The Beginnings. I go back and forth. Yeah, I, I like surprises, but I'm painting this weekend. You know, pink or blue. <laughs> well, you waited this long. What's another two weeks? Too long? Okay, I want a peek. Pink. It's a girl? I'm having a little girl? Oh. Oh, my God. Baby girl. Growth is consistent with size. She's right at about six pounds. Here you go. Thanks, I'll do it. Any dizziness, headaches, nausea? Yeah, all the above. Why? Your blood pressure's high. 140 over 90. Work's still hectic. Crazy's more like it. I'm trying to cross all the T's and dot all the I's before I go on maternity leave. Does this hurt? Yeah, a little. Should I be concerned? Well, with high blood pressure, there's always a risk of toxemia. It's something I like to keep my eye on. When do you go and leave? Oh, at uh, the end of the week. Well, I would like to monitor you closely until the birth. Can you come in tomorrow? No, no, Friday's impossible. I have a major client presentation this afternoon. And if we get the account, then I'll be up to my ears in legal tomorrow. Okay, well... Here's the web address for the prenatal outreach program the hospital runs. You can apply online. Maybe they'll be able to send you a nurse over this weekend. If not, I want to see you first thing Monday morning. It's doctor's orders. Yes, sir. Thank you. The act of creation can be a richly rewarding experience, but it's not without its share of difficulties. In order for your company to become a major player in the international carrier business, we'll be taking on the heavy hitters. FedEx, DHL, UPS. Doesn't get any hotter than that. As long as they're taking the heat. <laughs> and when we've got them backed up against the ropes. <laughs> well, we've committed to a long-term aggressive campaign. Tell me, Don. You think we can take him to the canvas with this? We're old fight fans. Royce, that's old school. Well, I prefer the finesse. The strategy. Myself, I'm partial to heavyweights. I like punchers. Guys that go for the knockout. You quite sure about that? Because the larger canvas doesn't favor the puncher. My father was a sports writer. I grew up practically worshipping Ali. I'm listening. You're number one on the East Coast. But we're talking about the global arena. You should consider sticking and jabbing to work your way into a winning position. Are you saying I'm out of my weight class? No, no, not at all. I am simply saying you have to be willing to go the distance 
to spend the kind of serious money it takes to create a market leader. Bearing in mind that Royce Clayton is a close personal friend of mine, do you really believe he has a shot going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys? Yes, I do. Why, Jenna? Because those other companies are vulnerable. Because statistics show that the market can bear it. Because it's good for his business. Because if we fail, a 30-year-old company will be destroyed, 2,000 people will be out of work, and I'll lose an old friend. We got the account. As of right now, Clayton Shipping is represented by Klein Walters Advertising. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or more specifically, by the new senior VP, Jenna Davis. Oh, yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Jenna, I know how hard you've worked on this account, coming in six, seven days a week. Not complaining. As senior VP, you do understand the hours are only going to get worse. I'm here for you night and day. What I'm alluding to, in a less than subtle fashion, is... Are you sure you're up to it? Mr. Walters. Uh, Don. Okay, Don. I know that when you hired me, you weren't expecting that I... Well, that I would be expecting. Believe me, I was just as surprised. My point is, I won't let you...